Hi guys, today we are going to do the question contains duplicate. Given an array of integers, find if the array contains any duplicates. Your function should return true if any value appears at least twice and it should return false if every element is distinct. So in the given example, one the elements are 1, 2, 3, 1. The element 1 occurs twice, so we return a draw. In this example, none of the element appears twice or more than twice, so we return a false. So in this question, we'll be, um, we'll be discussing three approaches with varying time complexity and space complexity. The most simple approach would be to iterate through the array twice in a nested loop and check if the current element is has any element which is equal to the present element so how would we go about this approach is like uh, we'll iterate we'll have a outer loop which would go to n here n is the size of the array nums dot size Uh, we'd, uh, we would go uh, from the first element to the last element and i++ plus plus. then for int j is equal to i plus 1 j is less than n j++ plus plus. we are uh, like we are on the first element we would start iterating from the second element and we would check if the present element if if nums of i equal to equal to nums of j if at any instance this happens then we return a true so since we see that we are using two for loops like one outer for loop and then an inner for loop so in this case we would have a time complexity of order of n square this would be the time complexity and since we are using no extra space so the space complexity will be order of one uh, then we come to the second approach for the same question. In this, we would uh, we would try to reduce the time complexity from n square to order of big O of n log n. Uh, the first thought that strikes me here is if we are to use n log n, then we could go by a sorting approach, sorting the given array and then compare immediate adjacent to elements. If uh, the adjacent elements are equal, adjacent are equal, we return true at that point. Uh, else at the end of the loop we simply return a false so in this the sorting algorithm the standard sorting algorithm would take n log on a, n log of n time and the space complexity here would be uh, o of 1 because we are the space complexity would be order of 1 because we are taking no extra space in this case as well so to implement the solution, we would just simply use a sort function nums dot begin comma nums dot end and then for int i is equal to zero, we would go till the n minus one th element because we are comparing the consecutive elements. If nums of i equal to equal to nums of i plus one, if any two so in this case we return true since we have found duplicates else if we do uh, if we do not exit from here in that case we return false this was our second approach and to take an example we could uh, take the example of the inputs um, the, that was given to us so in the sorted manner, the array would look something like this. So when we go through the from the first element to this uh, second last element, in that case, 
we would have nums of 0 equal to nums of 1. In that case, we would return true and the answer, final answer would be true, which is the, what we desire. Then the third approach. is again optimizing on the time we take so in this approach we would be using a set data structure what does set do um, set basically uh, helps you to add elements which are not duplicate like if uh, if a duplicate is uh, if a value is already entered into the set then it does not re-enter the value uh, here you can use the count function to check if the element already exists and this would be order of n time and order of n space because we are making an additional data structure space. So how would we go about it? We will declare a set then for each element x of nums we would simply uh, we would first check if str dot count x is not equal to zero. This would return like uh, this would tell us if the element already exists in the set or not. Uh, if the element already exists then this value will will be non-zero and in this case we would return a true else we would um, simply insert it into the set the current element and if we do not return a true from here then at the end of the function we would simply return a false so uh, this is um, optimized in terms of time but we are using additional space so if in case the interviewer asks you for a approach which uh, would be time efficient but uh, you can be a little e easy going on the space then you can use a set approach else uh, the best approach with order of one space would be sorting and i hope you guys have understood the uh, question and the three approaches that i've dis discussed like the video if you understand.